Well, welcome both of you to Miami and Thank the you. Super Bowl. We are so excited to have you here, and I think our audience is as well. So we're going to get to questions right away. We will have the microphones, and we have mm -hmm. people with headsets who will bring the microphone to you. Let's begin with ET's Kevin Frazier. Uh, good morning, ladies. How are Hi, you? Hi, Kevin. How are you doing, Jennifer? Good. Do you know what? We have it uh, from a pretty good source, very, 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 very close to you, that children may be involved, your own children, in the halftime performance. But I want to ask you, because you've collaborated with so many people, both of you, what went into the process of choosing who will join you on the stage? And lastly, will there be some kind of tribute to Kobe Bryant? You want me to start? Either one of you. <laughs> uh, Go ahead. Do you want to talk about the children? <laughs> um, no, I think we, I don't want to give away too many of uh, what we're going to do in the performance. So I know you guys will have a lot of questions about that. But the truth is, it's, I think when we finish the first run through, you know, Shakira looked at me. She was like, that was amazing. And I was like, no, you were amazing. And I think it's, we, it was very, she was like, it's different what we do. And I said, well, it's very Shakira and it's very yeah. Jennifer. And I think that's what you're going to get from the performance. It's a lot of energy. It's very entertaining. Um, there's, it, there's heartfelt moments. Um, I think we run the gamut. I think it, it's, it's packed with a lot of awesome moments. I, I don't want to say too much, because I want everybody to be surprised, obviously, and I don't want to give away too much. But it's true. Your, your show and my show feel very different, but very complementary. They complement each other. And I think that we've been working so hard the past weeks to make sure that everything is as good as, good as we can um, uh, feel it, that it is. And, and so everybody can enjoy uh, this Sunday, enjoy a, a, a great show. And we hope that it will be a great show. We're doing everything in our hands to make it. Scott Evans, Access Hollywood. All right. Hello. Hi. Jennifer, hello, Shakira, how you doing? I'm Scott Evans from Access Hollywood and World of Dance. Uh, just <laughs> wanted to know, the people wanted to know, I went to Instagram and, and, and found out. The people want to know, Jennifer, we're here in Miami, did yes. you charge it up? Did I charge it up? Yeah, did you charge it up? You know, did you, did you charge it up? <laughs> what are you doing right now? The people want to know. Please stop. How? That. Charged up, is it? It's charged it up. That's what I thought. I it's thought it was going to be charged up. You know it's going to be charged up. Right? Um, yes. There's, but there's, but uh, <laughs> in all seriousness, uh, you, you both, we're all thinking about it. Uh, Kobe Bryant's passing on Sunday. Uh, you just posted on Instagram about how it has drawn you closer to your family, reminded us all, really, uh, to love on each other a little more, to draw each other closer, um, your own family, in, in part. When you think about, though, when you were a kid, you didn't have this example, the two of you, this iconic performance to point to, but yet you two are here. What are you hoping that young people around the world are going to be able to take away from this history-making performance? I mean, this Super Bowl, I mean, the, the two teams that are playing, right, the Chiefs and the 49ers are run by women, and then you got two women headlining the uh, halftime show. Um, so it, it's just that statement alone for me is empowering. When I think of my daughter, when I think of all the little girls of the world, to be able to have that, to see that, two Latinas doing this at this time in this country at this time, it's just, it's just very empowering for us. And uh, for me, I'm, I'm very proud to be able to, to help set and push forth that message. Now, we had a message from James Corden. He was going to try to carpool to get down here. But unfortunately, he wasn't able to get here. But his parents were able to get here. So hey. the Corden family. Hi, Hello. Jennifer. Hi, Shakira. Hi. Hello. I mean, I don't know if you know, but I play on the, with, with James's band when I, when I go there. And um, I really thought it was time I tried to step up a bit, you know, into a show that people actually watch. Yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> I sort of brought my sax along, and uh, I know you've got your, your great song, uh, Jenny from the Block. Yes. So I wonder if you could maybe sing along. Okay. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> Go. Uh. 
don't be fooled by the rats that I got. I'm still, I'm still Jenny from the block. It's a little low. It's a little low. You're in the wrong key. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Thank you. It but thank is, you. It, it is in the wrong key. You're right. Dun, dun, I'm sorry. Dun, dun, <laughs> uh, Shakira, um, I hear you've done a song called Hips Don't Lie. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, I can tell you, when you get a bit older, bit, they do creak. <laughs> um, I wonder if you could maybe show my wife and I, you know, a few moves that we could probably garner into our I charge for that, you know. <laughs> Come on. Oh, Come yeah, on. I mean, you know, this is James Corden, the Late Late Show. Where is James right now? Oh, I don't know. We, we've lost all track with him. We've given up, you know. <laughs> But you yeah, know, you know the apple doesn't fall far, far from the tr from the tree. From <laughs> what I can see. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Gordon. Hi, Appreciate it. it. Next up is Jen from Extra. Hello, ladies. Hey, you guys look ready. We are ready. Yeah. So we lost one of the great ones this week, Kobe Bryant. It's such an incredible loss for the entire world. I'm wondering how the two of you, throughout all this preparation for the Super Bowl and all the madness, how have you been able to process this with your families? Uh, well, Gerard, my uh, partner, called me with the sad news. He was very affected because he knew Kobe and I knew him too. He went to one of my shows. And I, I can't imagine the, the pain that his family must be going through right now. Um, life is so fragile, and that's why we have to try to live every moment as intensely as we can. Uh, and I think we'll be all remembering Kobe on Sunday, and we'll be celebrating life and celebrating diversity in this country. I'm sure he will be very proud to see what we're going to the message that we're going to be trying to convey on stage that day, because it, I think it's a very important moment for, for our community, for the Latino community in this country. And, and I think it's, you know, the Super Bowl, it's, it's a very American event. It's as, Ameri as American as it can get. And I think it, it's going to be very nice to see that. It's also going to be a reminder of um, the heritage of this country, which is one of diversity, and that's what we will be celebrating on Sunday. Okay, next question is coming from Gina from Mexico City. Gina. Hola, hola, ¿cómo están? Yo soy Georgina Ollín de México, y les quería preguntar, ¿qué sentimiento genera en ustedes ser las dos primeras mujeres en estar en el medio tiempo del Super Bowl, Eh, siendo las dos latinas estelares y también bueno ya han estado en una copa mundial los dos eventos más vistos de todo el planeta qué se siente ¿Qué, bueno qué se siente a ver eh, es muchas cosas se sienten eh, si alguien me hubiera dicho cuando vivía en Barranquilla Colombia que iba a estar aquí algún día cantando en, en el Super Bowl que es creo que eh, uno de los eventos más importantes Eh, globales, quizá no me lo hubiera creído, <risa> y, pero, pero aquí estamos, es una realidad y creo que es un claro ejemplo, un ejemplo palpable de que todo es posible, de que hay que soñar en grande y de que hay que luchar por nuestros objetivos, nuestros ideales en la vida, porque se pueden conseguir a base de disciplina, a base de esfuerzo, Y, y estoy muy agradecida por esta oportunidad también, porque creo que es una oportunidad para, para poder mostrar de qué estamos hechos nosotros los latinos, eh, la contribución única que ofrecemos a este país y al mundo, nuestra cultura, nuestra idiosincrasia y la fuerza, la fuerza motriz, la fuerza... Eh, tan relevante que nos hemos convertido en este país. Somos, somos, somos realmente importantes eh, en el desarrollo de, 
del de desarrollo social de este país, somos parte del tejido social de este país y bueno, yo no soy nacida aquí ni criada aquí, pero siento que de alguna manera también estoy representando a los latinos y a las latinas de todas partes. Entonces, una gran responsabilidad y una alegría también. Maddie from the Miami Herald. Hello, hola. Uh, congratulations for everything. Everyone's very excited here in Miami to see you both together on the stage. Um, we had to ask, uh, Jennifer, is the bling cup coming? Oh, <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. I have it here somewhere. I have my special football, uh, Super Bowl 54 uh, bling cup. So very excited um, to have that on the sidelines. I will need it during my performance. <laughs> You're going to sweat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm going to need a drink <laughs> of water. <laughs> Megan from Inside Edition. Hey, ladies, Megan from Inside Edition. We are all so thrilled to see two strong, smart, beautiful women headline this halftime show. I want to know who's inspired you, what strong women you're going to be thinking of. And JLo, you posted such a beautiful tribute to the Bryant family, Vanessa. Can you talk about what Vanessa and the yeah. Bryant family means to you? You know, Kobe and Vanessa, I, obviously, I, I was in the middle of rehearsing and talking about this show. and. Alex came to me uh, with tears in his eyes, and he's like, you're not going to believe what happened. And he was devastated. He knew Kobe very well. They kind of came up together, um, entered sports around the same time, and, uh, and he was just devastated. And I, I knew Kobe and Vanessa more in passing. Um, he had come to my last show in Vegas, the both of them, as a date night. And we had a beautiful night that night. And uh, it was, it, it just, it's, I think it's affecting everybody so much because it's just reminding us how, again, how fragile life is and how we have to appreciate every single moment and how we have to love people when they're here and not wait and how we don't get the opportunity. It, it's, it can be taken away from us so easily. And then I think about Vanessa as a mom and losing her best friend and partner and losing her child. And I think, you know, how awful that must be for her right now. And I just wanted to send a message and just been praying that God guides her through every moment because she has three more babies to take care of, you know. And uh, just wishing that the nightmare was over, but it's not going to be in. That's, that's life, and we have, to, we have to carry on. But at the same time, it affects us, and it will affect us forever. And hopefully, we'll, we'll remember this moment. And again, what, even what we're trying to do is, is, is to spread love and kindness and bring everybody together. And I think in this week, this happening has, has a sound around the world of like, we have to love each other, and we have to be together, and we have to support each other, and we can't be so at odds all the time. And I think that's part of our, our mission and our message, too. Alex from Miami, to the right. Hi, Alex Miranda, WSVN, Fox Miami. Uh, there are going to be millions of little Latina girls, girls who you used to be back in the day, watching this performance. They're growing up in a different world than the two of you did. What do you think this moment, you two together, is going to mean to them? And how do you think it might change their experience as a Latina growing up in the United States? Um, you know, when I was living in Barranquilla, my hometown, as a little girl, um, no one would have thought that I would end up uh, performing at the Super Bowl one day. Uh, it would be something hard to believe, right? And it's a reality today and now, and I just think that this is a palpable example of how anything is possible, really. Um, and the only thing that matters is the size of your dreams. Um, I think that we are, and the Latinos are going through a difficult time in, in, in the US right now, and I think, uh, it's very important for us to convey a message 
uh, of unity and also to show what a relevant force the Latin community is in this country, uh, how much we have to offer, um, our idiosyncrasies, our culture that is so unique and so diverse too, because the Latinos are a mix of every race you can imagine and, and every culture. And that is what makes our community so special. And I think it's such a wonderful um, opportunity to pay an homage to that and also to, to remind us all of what, a, what an important um, force we are. And, and uh, you know, I wasn't born or raised in the US. For me, being um, a Latina, um, in participating of this very American event, and but also very global because I don't know, I think like a hundred million people will be watching. It's just a great opportunity and a great responsibility as well. I feel truly honored uh, to, to be representing so many people out there, women, Latinas, and people of any ages. I think that JLo and I are, are here redefining paradigms uh, about age, about race, about background. It doesn't really matter where you're from, how old you are, or mm, where you come from. Uh, what matters is the message you have, what you have to say, you know? And we're here, we have a lot of stuff to say. <laughs> yeah, and, and I think it's about, too, it's about hard work. I think, you know, like she said, being from Barranquilla, me being from the Bronx, the two of us could have never imagined that we would be playing at the Super Bowl one day. I know my mom and dad were, we were a football family. Every Sunday we would watch the Jets. And I think the last time they won is the year I was born. <laughs> the Super Bowl, so a Joe name, right? So, um, you know, just that, that dream coming true, that moment realizing itself, knowing that's where we came from. And you know, my mom and dad, I think if you ask them, you know, would you rather have the Jets in the Super Bowl this year or to see their daughter standing up there representing women and Latinas and Americans and everything that I am and that Shakira is, I think they would be, they would pick this. So I'm very, very proud to be here and to be able to have this moment and uh, I'm very grateful to be able to do that. We'll go with two more questions. Inez from TV Azteca. Gracias. Inez Sáenz de la Ciudad de México, Televisión Azteca. Para preguntarles, las dos tienen una conexión muy especial con el deporte. Shakira más en el tema de fútbol, soccer, digámoslo de una manera, y J. Lo más en el tema de béisbol. Sabiendo la importancia y la fuerza que tiene el deporte, las emociones que mueve, y lo que ustedes son capaces de hacer en 12 minutos, ¿cómo llegaron al concepto creativo que va a definir su show, siendo cada una de ustedes eh, la autenticidad que, que manejan siempre? ¿no? Bueno, eh, las reglas del fútbol americano todavía las estoy intentando entender. <risa> las, de, las del fútbol, las del soccer, eh, creo que ya... En eso estoy un poquito más familiarizada, aunque todavía no sé bien cuándo es un fuera de juego. Estoy, a veces me encuentro confundida al respecto, pero, pero yo creo que la única regla importante realmente del deporte, o sea, la única regla que realmente comparten todos los deportes es, es eh, la necesidad de mejorar cada día, de que siempre hay una revancha para poder hacer las cosas mejor. Y creo que esta es eh, nuestra revancha, ¿no? De, en, en el sentido de que es un, un punto muy, muy álgido, muy alto de, de, de nuestras carreras, yo creo, porque llegar a, a este evento tan, tan importante significa muchísimo. Y desde ese punto de vista, y, 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 y bueno, pero creo que... que que lo que el mensaje y lo que vamos a, a yo creo que a mostrar en el escenario es que bueno hemos trabajado muchísimo y, y, y intentado mejorar en todas las formas posibles para en los pocos minutos que tenemos en el escenario porque son muy 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 pocos eh, pues mostrar que, que sí se es posible que sí es posible eh, intentar ser mejor y en eso 
creo que hay un, un punto, un, un denominador común con el deporte, cualquier deporte. ¿no? El, el, el proceso creativo uh, es, es intenso para una show así, de esta magnitud, pero nosotros trabajamos juntos um, para hacer el mejor show posible uh, para domingo, pero también yo pienso que lo deporte y la música son las dos cosas que pueden unificar todo el mundo en un momento. Y nosotros tenemos esa oportunidad este domingo y vamos a hacer you know, lo mejor que podemos para hacer eso. Y para hacer la gente disfrutar también un momento lindo, bello, de baile, de música, de, de belleza, de todo, de todo. Y, y estoy... Otra vez, muy agradecida por tener esa oportunidad al lado de Shakira de hacer eso. As we get ready for our last question, we were able to find your bing pop, so there you go. And our last question will come from Lisa from CBS Miami. Hi, ladies. Jennifer's got her beautiful bling cup out yes, and ready. Where I'm over here. Here I am, right in the middle. Hi. <laughs> can I keep it? I can, I mean, I keep it, but... Hi, I just wanted to say, first of all, you guys look amazing. And we know the physical part of this incredible show is going to be. Let's talk about the mental for a second. So five minutes before, how do you guys get into the zone of what you're going to do on stage for a billion people? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you want to see either one of us five minutes it could be, before. It could be like this. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you'll see. You know, even when we walked in the stadium the other day, I felt such an energy when you walk in. There's so many eyeballs. There's so much attention on this moment, on the game, on the show. Um, and the minute you walk into that stadium, you feel it. It's, it's a beautiful kind of intense energy where you just know you have to rise to the occasion. You got to be ready. And we've been working really hard. I'm just like the teams all year um, for the moment. Tell me about it. I was until four in the morning last <laughs> night trying a pair of shorts <laughs> and kind of tearing because they didn't fit right. <laughs> <And> <laughs> so it is nerve wracking, but it's also exhilarating. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's definitely a ride. But yeah, definitely a, a crazy ride. But I think that the relieving factor is that there are going to be people out there and it's our people there cheering for us, fans, um, and it's in Miami. It's in Miami. Yes. <laughs> and that makes it so, so special <laughs> because Miami is a city full of energy. It's an important uh, nest for the Latino community. Uh, it's been a vital city for me because a huge part of my career was forged here. Um, and also, it'll be on my birthday, too. So it's extra yes. special. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Shakira has a birthday. We're so glad. <laughs> not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Not yet, not yet. We'll hold that for Sunday. Yes. And we Sunday, can't Sunday. wait to see you on Sunday <laughs> at the you. Pepsi Super Bowl halftime show. Before you leave, we have a parting gift. These are the first official game balls of yes. Super Bowl 54. Ah. Thank you. So I know who's going to love wait, that. do we get to keep these? My husband oh, is going to love that. Maybe? Let's see what happens. Wait, do you want, what do you want to do? Well, it's up to you. you want to throw it? But this is for us, right? You can throw I can it. take it home? Well, if you want to throw it to one of our friends. Ah, OK. Oh, <laughs> All right. I'm very bad. Let me see, because you must, you must be an expert. Oh, that was good. Nice throw. So, so we know you've been practicing, Shakira. Someone from the Miami Dolphins taught me that this, the, the laces have the to laces, be facing yes. up, right? Laces up. Nicely done. <laughs> very nice. Dan Marino would be very happy. Thank you to both of you so much for being here. And we will see you Sunday in the Super Bowl halftime show.